At the moment, Sally is having a blast in Zoo York, the capital city of Eukaryotopia. The ultra-modern city is designed just like an animal cell. How innovative! Sally is keen to continue her tour and learn about the organelles found inside animal cells. Remember, an organelle is an organised, specialised structure that is found in a eukaryotic cell. Some organelles are bound by one or more membranes. In this second lesson on animal cells, we'll continue to explore the structure and function of animal cell components. During the HSC Biology course, you'll learn that these components cooperate to keep the animal cell alive. In the previous lesson, we covered the protective cell membrane and the nucleus. We also looked at the protoplasm and cytoplasm, which both contain cytosol. If you would like to revise these components, please see our earlier video on animal cells. This lesson will focus on organelles responsible for synthesizing and processing biological molecules, including the endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus, and lysosomes. In the third lesson, we'll cover animal cell components involved in energy transformations and maintaining cell structure. These include the mitochondria, the cytoskeleton, and the centrosome. Now, there's a lot happening inside each animal cell. It's hard work keeping an entire organism alive. Let's peek inside and study some organelles involved in building and processing biological molecules. The endoplasmic reticulum is an organelle involved in synthesizing, processing and transporting proteins and lipids. Remember, proteins are made of polypeptides, or long chains of amino acids, while lipids are long hydrocarbon chains, such as fatty acids. The endoplasmic reticulum joins the nuclear membrane that surrounds the nucleus to the cell membrane. It consists of a network of flattened, interconnected membranes, which are referred to as cisternae. The cisternae are composed of one phospholipid bilayer, which is made from two layers of phospholipid molecules. These phospholipid molecules are comprised of a phosphate head and a fatty acid tail. We'll discuss the phospholipid bilayer in our upcoming videos on the cell membrane. Let's return to Sally for a minute. She's catching the subway with her classmates. At the subway station, they tap their phones, which processes their tickets for the exciting ride ahead. The subway tunnels stretch from the city centre to the suburban neighbourhoods. After a while, their journey ends at a bustling station. Here, Sally notices something. The Zoo York City subway, which extends from the city centre to the quiet suburbs, resembles the endoplasmic reticulum, which extends from the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane. Of course, while passengers are processed into and transported by the subway, the endoplasmic reticulum processes proteins and lipids before transporting them to other locations in the animal cell. The endoplasmic reticulum can be rough or smooth, depending on the attachment of ribosomes. Ribosomes just perform protein synthesis, which we'll discuss later in this video. Now, the rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to its surface. It plays a major role in processing proteins made by the cell. In contrast, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosomes attached to its surface. It is responsible for producing and processing lipids, which are essential for membrane production and repair. During her time in the city centre, Sally observed that all the subway stations have cafes nearby. The baristas run around creating delicious coffees and frappes, However, she found no cafes around the suburban subway stations. How strange. The inner city subway, which is covered with cafes, is just like the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is covered with ribosomes. These ribosomes build proteins, which are essential for an animal cell to function. 
Meanwhile, the peaceful suburban subway reminds Sally of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which lacks ribosomes. As we touched on earlier, a ribosome is a small organelle commonly found on the rough endoplasmic reticulum or in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes perform protein synthesis. This just means that they follow the genetically coded instructions of DNA to make proteins for the cell. Ribosomes are composed of proteins which are made from long chains of amino acids and ribonucleic acid, which consists of a long chain of nucleotide bases. After a busy morning, Sally and her classmates stumble into a nearby cafe. Suddenly, they are caught in a whirlwind of activity. The baristas are running around, making coffee after coffee. After all, the city that never sleeps can't function without caffeine. While a cafe produces coffee to run the city, a ribosome produces proteins to run an animal cell. Proteins made by ribosomes are used to build many important materials and structures, including enzymes. The Golgi apparatus is also found in animal cells. The Golgi apparatus is an organelle that sorts and packs cell products, such as lipids and proteins, so they can be transported within the cell or secreted out of the cell. Each cell product is packaged in a vesicle, which is a small sac enclosed by a membrane. Like the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus forms a network of flattened membranes, or cisternae. However, they are not connected and lack ribosomes. These cisternae are composed of single phospholipid bilayers, which consist of two layers of phospholipid molecules. Sally's next destination is the headquarters of a popular food delivery company. Many restaurants send their food to be processed and packaged on site. Delivery workers speed away to deliver food within or even outside of the city. Hold on, just like the delivery company, the Golgi apparatus sorts, packages and delivers cell products. Instead of food, lipids, proteins and other molecules are packed in vesicles and transported to locations inside the cell or outside. Now, the Golgi apparatus also generates vesicles that form lysosomes. A lysosome is an organelle that contains digestive enzymes. Remember, enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up chemical reactions. In lysosomes, enzymes speed up the breakdown of complex biological molecules, like proteins and lipids, into simple molecules. These simple molecules can be used as building blocks for new, complex molecules and organelles. For example, a lysosome can digest an unwanted protein into its basic units, amino acids, which can then be used to construct new, useful proteins. But what exactly does a lysosome digest? It can't just run loose and break down everything in the cell. Well, lysosomes specifically degrade waste material and unwanted foreign matter that enters the cell. This includes destroying old and damaged cells from the inside. Next, Sally and her classmates arrive at the Zoo York recycling plant. Here, waste materials, including paper, plastic and soda cans, are collected from around the city. The recycling plant breaks down these materials and reprocesses them to make brand new products. Actually, lysosomes are like the recycling plant of an animal cell. They break down unwanted biological molecules, like proteins, into simpler molecules that can then be used to synthesise useful materials for the cell. Let's revise what we've covered in this lesson. Firstly, it is important that you remember the components of an animal cell, and secondly, you should know the function of each component. The endoplasmic reticulum is an organelle involved in synthesising, processing and transporting proteins and lipids. It consists of a phospholipid bilayer that forms a network of flattened, interconnected membranes, or cisternae, that connect the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane. 
The rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to its surface, while the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not. A ribosome consists of proteins and ribonucleic acids and performs protein synthesis. Ribosomes can be found on the rough endoplasmic reticulum or float freely in the cytoplasm. The Golgi apparatus is an organelle that sorts and packs cell products for transport within the cell or secretion out of the cell. It comprises of single phospholipid bilayers that form a network of flattened membranes, or cisternae. A lysosome is an organelle that contains digestive enzymes, which are used to degrade waste material and unwanted foreign matter. They break down complex biological molecules, like proteins and lipids, into simple molecules that can be used as building blocks in a cell. To finish, this table summarises the key points of this lesson. Pause the video if you would like to read it for yourself. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on biology, check out our third video on animal cells.